At this point, I don't know why your blood sugar is high and it really doesn't matter. What I need to do is help you get your blood sugar down and get it down fast. And then on top of that, give you a foolproof guide so that whenever you get in a pinch, you have the successful strategies you need to bring your blood sugar down. Here's what you have to do. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Nick Zarowski, and I started my holistic health practice in order to help you take control of your health naturally because true health only comes naturally. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Now, have you ever went to a friend's or family's house and they make you this beautiful spread of food? And when you see it, you're looking at it going, wow, it looks amazing, but my goodness, I really don't wanna eat that. It's just a whole bunch of carbs. And then at the end of that big carb-rich meal, they have a nice sugar-filled dessert. Same thing, look it's delicious, but you're sitting there going, ah, I really shouldn't be eating this stuff. Well, then you eat it and then you're thinking to yourself after the meal, I really wish I had a way to bring down my blood sugar right now and do it fast. And there's two unique indicators that we can look for. They're actually symptoms that give us an idea as to whether or not we have high blood sugar or we have insulin resistance or maybe even both of them. The first is gonna be a symptom of craving sweets after a meal. And the second is gonna be the symptom of just being wiped out, tired, brain fog, just wanting to crash after you eat a meal. Now I can tell you beyond shadow of a doubt, there were times in my life where I wasn't really taking care of my health before I knew all this stuff and I was suffering from these different symptoms. Now let me know in the comments below, let's start a conversation. Have you had either one of those symptoms at any point in your life? Now let me give you another scenario that comes up time to time and that is that you ate something that spiked your blood sugar wildly out of control and you had no idea that it had the capability of doing that. Let me give you an example. So I have this patient who's a type two diabetic and they wear a continuous glucose monitor right in their arm. And they're super cool because these continuous glucose monitoring devices can give you instantaneous feedback as to what your blood sugar is doing in response to the foods that you're eating. And so this person sat back on the couch, put their feet up, turned on a movie, and what do you think they grabbed? They grabbed a big old bowl of popcorn. Well, there's a little bit of a problem there because they didn't know it, but there's nothing that has a glycemic index and will spike your blood sugar like popcorn does. So of course their blood sugar went wildly out of control and they're like, holy smokes, what do I do? How do I bring this down fast? And you know, look, I've had this issue myself. One time there was a friend of mine who made these healthy snack bars and they said, you know, they're healthy, they're good for you, all this stuff. Well, I ate them and then I saw the ingredient list, and they had an enormous amount of sugar in them. They hit the thumbs up button if you've ever had this happen to you. You ate something that was loaded with sugar and you didn't even know it till after the fact. So now the question is, what do we do about it? Well, the good news is that I have a few tricks up my sleeve that's gonna help you bring down your blood sugar and bring it down fast. The first is going to be exercise, okay? So let's say your blood sugar is super high, get moving. And this is going to be a form of exercise that gets your heart rate pumping faster than usual because what we want to do is target that sugar floating around in your bloodstream. So what kind of exercise are we going to do, you might ask? Well, first of all, let me say that any exercise is better than none at all. But specifically, in this case, we want to do an exercise that demands glucose for fast energy, like the glucose that's in your bloodstream from that high sugar meal that you just ate. Now this form of exercise is done at a high intensity, so maximum output for a short duration of time. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, my gosh, you want me to go you know, throw on my workout clothes and crank out a hardcore workout? No, not at all. What we want to do is we wanna get off the couch and we wanna do about four to five minutes of an exercise at maximum output. So let me give you an example of what that might look like. Let's say you have this high sugar meal, you wanna bring your blood sugar down, and you think to yourself, what can I do for some quick exercise? First thing that you can do is you could just do some simple air squats, okay? That means that you have no weights, nothing around, and you're just squatting up and down as fast as you can. And then from there, you can transition into doing some jumping jacks. Do this as fast as you can. And then from there, you can transfer into running in place. And you, you can just go and repeat that multiple times and do it for four to five minutes. And doing that at maximum output for that short duration of time will dramatically lower your blood sugar and do it fast because your body is demanding that quick energy, that sugar that is free floating in your bloodstream. It needs that fast energy and needs it now. So as a result, blood sugar comes down. Now the exact movement patterns, they don't really matter. I gave examples of doing air squats, running in place, and even doing jumping jacks, but you can come up with your own little workout pattern. The most important thing is that you're doing high intensity, 
you're getting your heart rate up, you're doing it for a short duration, just four to five minutes at your maximum capacity, right? Which is gonna be different for everybody if you're 60 years old versus if you're 20 years old. Now, the thing is, is it works incredibly effective at lowering your blood sugar. I'll have my type two diabetic patients do this upwards of three times a day, morning, noon, and night. Let me know if you've ever tried this or if you've even heard of this method. Most people have never heard of it. So put in the comments below if you have or not. Now, the next thing that you can do to bring down your blood sugar really fast is about as simple as it gets, and that's drink more water. And the reason for this is because proper hydration will help you flush out the excess sugar in your body, in your urine. Now, here's the deal. I wanna give you a little twist on that in order to help it be even more effective. And that's add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to your water and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Put that in a glass, lots of ice, cold water, and drink it. It'll be very beneficial. Now we know the apple cider vinegar is incredibly powerful at bringing down blood sugar, but also the cinnamon has been shown to help lower our blood sugar as much as 29%. So if we take all that and even maybe even add a couple drops of stevia in there to help with the taste, we put that in some ice water. I think it tastes like apple pie. It tastes pretty darn good. Now, let me ask you this. Do you have an apple cider vinegar drink or a mixture that you really like? If you do, put it down in the comments below because heck, we can help each other out here and share some really good recipes. Now there's an incredible piece of research that I'm going to share with you and I think you're going to find it really cool as well. I just came across this. Now this is going to require a little bit more forethought so you have to think about how you're eating your meal but listen to this because it's so interesting. Researchers measured blood glucose, insulin, and glucagon levels of participants just after a meal and every 30 minutes for the next three hours and what they found is that peaks in glucose levels when carbs were consumed last were around 50 percent lower than when carbs were consumed first so what this means is that if you go and consume your carbs first your post-meal blood glucose levels are like 50 percent higher however if you eat your protein in your veggies and then you eat your carbs your post meal blood glucose levels are 50% lower. Pretty incredible. Now, it goes on to say that if you just basically, you know, take all your food and you just eat whatever and you eat like you mix it all up and you eat it all at the same time, your blood sugar levels were still 40% higher than when carbs came last. So this is pretty significant because they found that simply changing the order in which you ate your macros was almost just as significant as some of the powerful blood sugar medications that exist out there. So really interesting. So I don't know about you, but personally, I think that this is worth our time to pay attention to. So next time you eat, eat the carbs last, eat your veggies and your protein and everything else first, and bam, just like that, blood sugar, 50% lower at the end of your meal. And speaking of powerful blood sugar lowering medication, you're probably thinking, what about these medications? What can I use? Well, now, if you grew up in the same generation I did, you were taught to rely on medication for everything, and most people still are today. But here's the deal. In the realm of natural health, we like to look to natural health sciences, all the modern sciences that are proven to have massive benefits in bringing down our blood sugar, and use nature as medicine so that we can avoid all these synthetic lab-made drugs whenever possible. Now, one of my favorite herbs that I use and is one of my first go-tos is known by many people as nature's metformin. It's been used in ancient Chinese medicine forever to treat type 2 diabetes, and this is berberine. Berberine is by far one of the most effective nutrients that you can use to bring down your blood sugar and do it quick and do it naturally. Now, after berberine, my next favorite is going to be fenugreek seed. Fenugreek seed has been shown in the research to improve glucose tolerance and also lower blood sugar. And so when we're looking to nature as medicine, these are two powerful nutrients that you can use to effectively bring down your blood sugar. And what I'll do is I'll put some links in the description so that you can have some resources as to what I would use in my own clinic. Now, at the end of the day, one of the things that we have to realize is that the most effective way to not have high blood sugar is to make sure that we're eating appropriately in the first place. Now, look, none of us are perfect and we're going to slip up and we're going to mess up. And that's why this information is so valuable. But if we want 
to keep our blood sugar low. We want to eat low carb. We want to eat sugar free. And that's the way that we always want to live if we want to have low inflammation in our body and also make sure that we promote longevity and not disease. Now, the next question that you might have, which is an enormous question is, well, how do we know if our blood sugar is high in the first place? Well, let me teach you exactly what numbers you need to look for and of course, how to test for it. You can do so by watching this video right here. When you fast for eight hours and you take your blood sugar and it's in this range right here, that's an indication of normal. What this essentially means is that insulin is shuttling sugar into the cell for energy properly mm -hmm. and that the pancreas is actually producing enough insulin for your body 